Okay. That was you! Why don't you chickeny check yourself? That was you! Chickeny wreck yourself! Shade. Group hug. Hi guys and welcome back to the internet. Oh, you notice this is actually just a prop. I don't condone smoking because I don't think it's good for your health. Welcome back to Let's Confess! That's right everyone, it's time for episode 4 of Let's Confess. Mm -hmm. I can't wait to dive straight in. Investigatorively. It's a really hard word to say. I'm defense. trying. I didn't wash the end of that. I'm trying to make something happen with my pipe. They're more confessing, so really you should wear more of a like a kind of priest outfit rather than a sexy. You're not really investigating. That's a nice brand safe cut, Rosie. What does it say? It's a see you next Tuesday. I hate that expression. So first of all, I'd like to start off. Let's confess with a confession from my own wife, which I'm going to confess on her behalf. What are you going to say? It's the most sweetest romantic thing ever. What is it? Rose had a wet dream about me. Rosie. No, I'm going to say. So basically, I'm embarrassed! And I said, what were you dreaming about? She said, I was dreaming about you. And we've been together eight years this year, at the end of the year. And I just think, is that not the sweetest thing? That's what I told you anyway. I don't expect you to confess things without us having to confess things first. Right, Do you so know what I you mean? share, we'll share. Exactly, this is, tastes like bum hole. Oh. Talking of bum hole, I'll confess something. The other day I put something up there, went all the way in, I panicked. And what you're meant to do is always have something which has a bigger rim, so like, it Pretty. doesn't completely get lost. When was this? <laughs> when I was at my mum's? First confession! There was a potential holiday theme for a while okay. and then it just is random. Yeah. Me and my girlfriend were on holiday with my parents in a caravan. We were alone while they went to the beach and we got horny and started to mutually masturbate. Obviously. Horrible phrase. But I actually like I that. I enjoy the act. I actually think that's hot. Yeah, but I just hate the words. In the awning. I say, love an awning! Oh what's my an god! Awning? It's the thing that you attach to your caravan. Right, she you kept saying awning and I didn't know if it was a typo. Nice. We started to mutually masturbate in the awning because they left the caravan caravan locked. Well, first of all, why did they leave the caravan locked when they went to the beach and you didn't? They locked you out of the caravan for a reason. They obviously did didn't trust that you wouldn't mutually masturbate. Yeah. You did it anyway in, in the, the awning. awning. Not in the morning. In the awning. Rosie, get off my channel. Okay, so, <laughs> so we kept checking for my parents, but the one time we did look for about 30 seconds, they came back and saw us through the awning window. Oh, my fuck, there are windows in the awning. Well, I just imagine one eye, just one, just like one cartoon eye peeping. So my girlfriend can't look my dad in the eyes anymore. No. If I was ever caught mutually masturbating in an awning by my parents. Makes that, it so much worse that it's in the awning. No, it makes it worse that she was caught by her parents. That is the worst part of the story. We've all been caught by our parents. No, this is the thing I, I haven't been. I have never been caught in any sexual situation uh, actually, by my parents. One time we had a Skype sesh one before we lived together and you think your dad heard. Interestingly, this story brings me back to a not quite as bad memory of mine and Rose's where we were alone in a caravan. We were staying in a tent but we went into <laughs> my parents' caravan at the time. They were at the beach. They were. And I took off my trousers. I was laying on my sister's bed. We didn't do anything sexual. I took off my trousers to itch myself. You're because, so sexy. Because of my ferociously itchy eczema. Oh, that's hot. And my stepdad came back and saw me pulling up my trousers and always thought there was something going on. Turns out he was having an affair. Sorry, Kevin. You thought me and Rose were having sex on my sister's caravan bed. It, it wasn't happening. That was you! Why don't you chickeny check yourself that was you chickeny you. wreck yourself? Now show Kevin your mug. Right, Kevin. That's what we think of you. 20 years. Also, we need to get remarried so someone else can walk me down the aisle, just saying. Fucking shade, Kevin. Shade. How did they recover? Did they say or have they not recovered? Well, we didn't actually do anything right and you still never recovered. You were like, ah, Kev thought we were having sex that one time in Isabel's bed. And it's like, yeah, he did think that, but we didn't do it. I was like, I know the truth. I still carried the shame yeah, of something I shame. didn't do. Is the shame better now? Now that he did something worse. Yes. Yeah, we didn't do it. And then we have another holiday one. Okay. So me and my fiance are four years on holiday in Crete. I love the attention to detail. Like, would it have happened if you were at Lanzarote? I don't think it would. Only I Crete. don't think it would. Right. Only in Crete. Love to go to Crete. Never been. And staying at this lovely gay hotel. We are looking at the sea view in the evening and end up making out after talking for hours. Oh. This is so lesbian. Okay, fan fiction. Go right. on. Making out turns into sex pretty quickly and halfway through we realise we've been having sex on the balcony which is directly above the pool and there's a straight couple having sex in the pool who can see us so we move into the bedroom and then the shower i'm pretty sure the guy was watching us have sex i'm pretty sure that's why the he was having sex he was having he sex watched with you. you yeah and didn't he didn't tell his girlfriend it. it was happening got horny or they loved it or they, they loved it couple, or you were being noisy i like that and then they start splashing and being I, noisy I, I wouldn't be able to have sex on a balcony i don't think because it's quite close to other balconies isn't it yeah and i'd be like well am i being too loud this is the problem one time in this wasn't even sex. I just was sunbathing and I decided to sunbathe topless because I hate white tan lines. 
jeans on boobs. So I took my top off and lay there for ages with my friend. And then like this guy just stood for ages just looking. And I didn't know because I had a towel over my head so I didn't get face burned. That's gross. Yeah, and then I pulled my head off and he'd just been staring. Oh my God. Yeah, I know. What we have next is what I can see being the beginning of a Netflix series that might get canceled a season later because it's similar to Gypsy. Uh, like everything on Netflix. Shade. Hi, I've been crushing on my 42 year old colleague for about a year now. We've been very close since then and have been having a drinking sesh every week in her car. She's what? married. She's driving. She's married, but I've been having this feeling that she's secretly gay and kind of likes me too. My false hopes are killing me. Help. Let's decrypt this. Get your pipe. What married 42 year old colleague sits in a car drinking with a young lesbian? We assume she's a young lesbian. What if she's older and she's just failed to give us that information? Well, Think she... like Detective Bubbles. True. Why are you drinking out of a hip flask in the car? I added my own detail. Because that's hot. So you're meeting up sexily in a secret location, which in this case scenario is the car, and you're drinking after work. On the actual lesbians thread on Reddit, there's this huge thing about lesbians not knowing they're getting with someone. Because they're like, oh, we're just friends. Like, oh. My false hopes are killing Girl me. Pals. Yeah, yeah, like girls be pals. Yeah. Lesbians being confused because yeah. they're misreading signals. Right. You're you're already in an affair with a married woman. Right. Say I'm in the car drinking with a 42 year old male colleague every week. Am I having an affair? Get out. Yeah, see, it's an affair. You're having an affair. Who is he? What's his name? Chadwick. Oh, you can have him. <laughs> that is an emotional affair. This is funny because it ended with my false hopes are killing me. There's no false, ho false hopes here. Yep. Like, it's only gonna snowball. I yeah, think. you're gonna finger bang. Sorry to continually talk about the lesbian spread on Reddit. Yeah. They said this really interesting way to find out who's the top and the bottom in a relationship. If you're a lesbian couple and you're having a meal and you're being like in a restaurant and it's obvious that you're a lesbian couple, you see who the waitress gives the card reader and the receipt to because obviously they're the top. That's always me. Oh, there is some truth in that then. So my story is a victory story. Oh, we love that. At school I was bullied beyond belief but my worst bully of all, let's call him Ralph, he was the worst. Right, he care. called me mole teaser because I had a mole on my cheek. He'd literally tried to set fire to my hair on the bus with a lighter and deodorant. That's really dangerous. He could have literally set fire to your entire head. He'd spread rumors that I was gay and call me dyke constantly. Fast forward to now and I've slept with the girl of my dreams and she's asked me out. I bet you're thinking it's my bully's sister, right? Yeah. So did I when I saw their picture together on Facebook. Nope, you thought wrong. She is now his ex-girlfriend and we're all going to the same university studying the exact exact same course next year, including Ralph. I cannot wait. She stole his girlfriend. He bullied her, she took his girlfriend. That's what I like to call a power move. Oh, that is a Netflix series that gets cancelled after the first season because it goes nowhere. It's oh like my god. Lesbian legally blonde going to the same uni with someone who's awful, but you spite them in the end. I run a Bon Jovi blog and I often have Same! And I often have to comfort young men who find Bon Jovi attractive and don't know who to tell. That's hold on. That's the cutest thing I've it's ever really heard cute. in my life. There is a place online for everyone. So niche. You should watch our documentary, Cheeky Plug, Overshare on Amazon.com and Amazon. .co.uk. There's a space for everyone on the internet. Young men who find Bon Jovi attractive and are unsure of their sexuality, there's a place for you. There's a place Literally for you. Literally a place for everyone. Okay? I'm getting emotional. I tell them how Nicky Six had a huge crush on Bon Jovi and wrote fuck Bon Jovi on the back of his guitar in the 80s. I know that Bon Jovi is American gay slang for a man that looks like a girl from behind. Problematic. Really? Love the roses. That's so problematic. Yeah, that is problematic. Or is it nice? I don't know anymore. It depends who you are and what your vibe is. So she's just out there comforting all these Bon Jovi That's really, guys. really cute. It's interesting, as a woman who's bisexual, yeah. Bon Jovi? I'm not too interested in Bon no. Jovi. No. no. I was at the library with my girlfriend at the time and we were using the computers. Oh, okay, are you in the 80s or 90s right now writing this? I started fingering her. Oh my God. Despite there being another person behind us and the librarian kept checking in on us. Anyway, she came and nobody noticed her, so it all went well. That's a great confession. Why haven't you fingered me in the library? I thought you were talking to that person through the lens then. I was really offended. Did you just get jealous? Yeah, I did, I was about to go off. Oh, I'd been out with a group of friends and kissed one of the guys and one of the girls when we were in the bar. Oops. I'm the crazy one. Uh, enjoy it. Yeah, no oops. No, no, no. Or no. well, you're the attractive one. We all came back together and fell asleep in various places. Mine happening to be on the living room floor in between the girl and the guy. Oops, times two. Can I just say, were you in an awning at the time? Ah! 
I'm kidding. Naughty. Kidding. We were all quite drunk and tired, so I fell asleep after a kiss and spoon with the girl. Only for me to be woken up a few hours later by someone kissing me. I was still facing the direction of the girl, so I closed my eyes again and started to get into it, reaching down towards her trousers and under the duvet. I then proceeded to feel that she in fact had a penis. Mm. Rather than alarm bells going, I thought, okay, 2019, let's not judge, and carried on. Love that. It was only when I reached up to undo her bra that I realised, no, this was in fact the boy I was kissing, and opened my eyes very wide. I saw the girl was wide awake watching this happen. She got up, left, and entirely did not believe my excuse the next day when I explained I thought I was kissing her. That's a learn. Don't get into the zone before you know who you're in the zone with. I, like I mean, that. that's good advice. I love I feel like that's good how advice. open this person is. I love how this person was literally like, okay, okay, but yeah, maybe not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wouldn't want to assume. Yeah, love that. Like, never assume. Never assume. And I like no judgment. It is what it is. And I look, like, I like this person. That was a Doesn't happy matter. ending. Everyone was ha clearly happy and fine with it. I feel like that's a very interesting situation that not many people would find them. Maybe they would find themselves in that situation. If if I'm single, I feel like I could be in that situation. You'd be in every situation ever. It never bothers me what's down the trousers. It never bothers me. That's really nice. Yeah. I'm glad. Okay, now that we've heard most people's terrible confessions, can I just say, you guys really do live your lives to the yeah. full, don't you? I mean, I've got some confessions that, you know, are pretty out there, but nothing quite as wild as you. Someone sent me a confession it didn't make sense, so I'm just going to read you like a sentence because I loved it. Okay. I once, when I was 13 year old with my best female, also 13 and both girls, we were dry hump on mum and dad and so confused what the liquid <laughs> that was the first sentence so i mean i'm intrigued and i'd like to know more <laughs> hold on i like so confused what the liquid let us know in the comments below what you think that could have meant yeah because i'm intrigued don't forget to check out our documentary on amazon.co.uk and amazon.com mm -hmm. leave a review if you're feeling Spicy. positive but I mean, honest, what we're all about on this channel. If you're feeling like sharing the love. Check out our merch if you want to too. There's links for that. And don't forget, we are going live on you now every week. Mm -hmm. So if you if you think this is fun. Yeah, check oh out. Oh my us, God. Check us out live. Live. It's mental. It's crazy. So She's crazy. Got pipe. Sometimes the dog barks. Oh my God, it's so much Whoa. fun. Seriously, it's gonna blow your mind. Yeah. Don't forget to get yourselves in all kinds of trouble. Otherwise we won't have content. <gasps> Love you and leave you. Love you and leave you. <laughs> Love you and leave you. Until next time, fare thee well. Werther's Originals, bye. Bye.